guys, this is Mary and Cleary here again. And mm, can I say um, a shout out to Simon Pegg, please? What the hell have you done with Star Trek? Sorry to diss him first off, but uh, he was one of the creatives behind this crap of a movie. Uh, <laughs> What I'm talking about is the latest Star Trek movie. Yeah. Uh, it was a bit of a bit of a debacle. I am so so sorry. Um but I like to do another to do a shout out to two people who have given the world some beautiful movies and one that was taken way too early. Leonard Nimoy and oh, Alchin Uchin. I'm sorry I have butchered your name, uh, Anchin. Uh, I have seen um, Anchin in the Fright Night remakes along with the remakes of the Star Trek series and he was also in Terminator Salvation. Uh, can I just say I'm deeply sorry to hear about your uh, early passing, you had so much to give the world um, that you were taken, I'm so sorry, way too soon. So, um, and I was so hoping to see more of your work, my friend. Um, but thank you for what you have released and your legacy will continue. With Leonard Nimoy, uh, Sir Spock Prime, what can we say? What can anyone say about your legacy? You have brought to get brought a most beloved character to the screen in the original Star Trek series and the movie series and other works that you put together. So um, I'm so. Um, sad to hear about your passing and well I'm hoping Zachary will do you proud my friend now on to that now on to Star Trek 3 uh, I'll put the real title in the comment below um, for one that is supposed to be a Star Trek it felt very episodic Ah, uh, this is so sad to see um, a movie be episodic. It's a little annoying in that way. Um, the characters, the ones that we know were f absolutely great. The new ones oh, uh, were okay. Uh, we did see... Um, a lot of things that were unique in this particular um, series. Um, it has come out that there is a gay gay couple in this, and can I say progress? Uh, that was um, John Chu, John Chu's character um, of oh, the name will come to me. Uh, he had to be in a gay relationship which is so um different to see i am only, i've only seen the original i've only i've never seen the original series so i don't know a lot about the original movie series i've only ever sat through the uh remake collection star trek into darkness and into the into the into the into darkness actually and which is um the latest movie so i'm plus i've um heard now playing podcast talk about the series so i do know a little bit about the um series as a as a whole um and i believe having a gay relationship was uh, absolutely a departure but I do I am aware 
that in the original movie series uh, that they had the first interrelation into relation in all species. So it was like a black guy kissing a white woman and that being a relationship. I think that might have been Uhura and Spock, judging from what I've seen in the remake collection. And um, I think that relationship is, I believe, one of the core relationships. And then add um, uh, Kurt in as well, like that. Like, I think you've got them, and then you've got the bromance sort of between Kurt and Spark and add Bones into that collection. And that, like the core sort of, you could say five were okay. But the only character that really started grain on me was Scotty. Uh, that's probably helping the fact that the man actually wrote the movie. He didn't give himself any good lines. He's, um, he wasn't like that in the original, in the original two, but he just started annoying me. I have heard one reporter says that the man was so inconsistent it wasn't bloody funny. So, if I'm so in love hate it at Simon, I am so um, sorry. The evidence is there if you watch the movie. Um, I think Simon needs to hone his writing craft before doing another, do another motion picture. Um, but with all of those crazy craziness, the movie sort of works uh, <laughs> yeah sort of um yeah what do I give it out of five I am giving it a three and a half yes a half it's definitely going in my DVD collection because I have love of the um that's why the half is there for because my love of the original two movies but um, I'm hoping that Simon does not pen the next one. Please, give it to another set of writers. That's all I'm saying. So, what movie would you like me to do next, guys? I would love to hear what you have to say about Into Darkness. Put it in the comments below. Send me a line, either on my Facebook or my Twitter feed. So, I would love to continue this conversation and I'll see you later. Ciao!